In this video, we're going back to the basics. Today, I will be showing you how to install mods onto Minecraft. Now, for most people, subscribe to my channel. This might be a piece of cake. But remember that there are always new people who try to get into Minecraft modding for the very first time. And if that's the case, then this video is for you. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would really help me out a lot by doing that. And then, without any further ado, let's freaking go. So, the first thing you need to do before you can start modding Minecraft is install installing a mod loader. A mod loader is basically a Minecraft version which is modified so that it recognizes mods. Now there are different mod loaders out there, the two most popular ones being Forge and Fabric. But Quilt is also growing rapidly. But because Quilt is a fork of Fabric, I will only be showing Forge and Fabric in this video. Now it does actually matter a lot which mod loader you install, because mods are made for specific mod loaders. Meaning that if a mod developer starts creating a mod, they will create it for either Forge or Fabric. Or if it's an amazing developer, they might make a version for both. So the first step will be choosing a mod loader. And that all depends on what type of mods you want to install. Now I assume if you're watching this video, you already got a mod in mind. So make sure to go to the page where you download that mod from and check if it is for Forge, for Fabric or for both. Anyway, let's start off with installing Forge. So I will leave a link to this website in the description of this video. Over here, we're gonna download the Forge installer. So here on the left of your screen, you will see all the Minecraft versions. Now going with the latest version is not always the best option, as some mods only work for specific versions. So once again, go to the website of the mod you want to download and check what version it is for. In my case, I would just be going for the newest version of Forge, which currently is 1.20.1. So you can either download the latest version or the recommended version. I will just be going for the recommended one. And over here, you want to click on installer. Doing this will take you to this weird shady page. After 5 seconds you will be able to click on skip in the top right corner. Simply click on there and Forge will download. After downloading it simply double click the jar file and this will open the Forge installer. Now do note that you will need to have Java installed for this to work. I assume you already have Java installed if you're playing Minecraft Java edition but if you don't simply look for install Java on Google and you should be able to find it. It's really easy. So over here you will be able to install it on a client, install it on a server or extract it. We're just going for the install client option. Over here you want to make sure that the path leads to the place where your Minecraft is installed. Now for me that's just the default path. So user kasai appdata roaming dot minecraft. If you installed your Minecraft in another location then you probably know where as you can simply click on these three dots and select the alternative Minecraft directory. Then we're simply we're gonna click on OK. We're gonna wait for a little bit. You will see it's doing all sorts of cool stuff. It takes a bit, but after a while you should see this. Successfully installed client profile, forge, blah, 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 blah. It is installed. You did it. Congratulations. And when you now boot your Minecraft launcher, you should see that the version selected is called forge. So this is what it should look like. If it doesn't appear for you, inside of the launcher, simply go to installations, then click on new installation. And over here, here, where it says version, you want to look for your Forge version. So in this case, it's called Release 1.20.1 Forge. Simply click on it and then click on Create. And like you can see, we now got an installation with that Forge version. So now we can simply boot Minecraft. It will probably give you a warning like this. Just click on I understand and click on play. And there we go. Minecraft is booted. And in the bottom left, you can see that we're currently running Forge. Now the only thing left to do is install install a mod. Forge actually makes this really easy. You simply got a mods button here. If you click on there, and then click on open mods folder. You will open the folder where you need to put all of your mods in. Now I could show you how to drag a mod into this folder, but that wouldn't really make a difference to this tutorial. At this point, it is all up to you. Download whatever mod you want to download, drag it into this mods folder, restart your Minecraft, and you're good to go. I will leave a link in the description to two mod websites, which you can use to find a cool mod for yourself. Now next up, I'm gonna show you how to install fabric. Now, 
my personal opinion, Fabric is by far superior over Forge. It is just more stable, works better, also has better mods in my opinion. So if you're looking for a cool mod loader to just install some general mods, then I would for sure go for Fabric. Once again, link to this website will be in the description. Over here where it says installations, you want to click on download here. That will take you to this website and here you just want to click on download for Windows. Click on there, wait a bit and there we go, the Fabric installer. Now Fabric works a little bit different than Forge because for most mods to work, you also need to install the Fabric API. Luckily for us, installing the Fabric API is not hard at all. So over here on that same page, it has the highlighted text Fabric API. Simply click on there, it will take you to Curse Forge and over here you simply want to click on download. Wait for a bit and there it is. Now after downloading both, you first want to execute the Fabric installer. So simply double click on the Fabric installer.exe and this menu will open. Now over here you can choose your Minecraft version which goes all the way back to 1.14. After that you need to choose the loader version. In 99% of the cases I would just go for the newest version here. So for me that is 0.14.21. Though big chance when you're watching this video a newer version is already released. Just go for that one. And then once again select your install location. This is the default location. If you've not chosen a custom location yourself then it should be good already. Though if you did choose a custom location then click on the dots and select it yourself. Make sure create profile is on for ease of use and then click on install. And there we go. Epic. It worked. Now we still need to drop the Fabric API into the mods folder. Unlike Forge, Fabric doesn't have a cool mods button, which allows you to open the mods folder from the game. So we actually need to go to the .minecraft directory manually. Now the way you want to do that is on Windows, click on the search bar and then type percent appdata percent. Click enter and this will open your roaming folder. And probably all the way at the top, there will be a folder called .minecraft. Open that folder and in there, there should be another folder called called mods. If you don't see mods here, you can simply create a new folder called mods. Then inside of the mods folder, drag the fabric API alongside all the other mods you want to install for Minecraft. And there you go, when booting Minecraft, you should see the fabric loader. Simply click on play. Yes, I understand Minecraft, I understand. And there we go, now you know how to install mods onto Minecraft. I really hope you enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you would really help me out with doing that. And then I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.